Thanks, Tyler. With town meeting day tomorrow, several towns hosted informational meetings tonight to educate voters about the main items they'll be deciding on. For many, budgets were right at the top of that list. NBC 5's Tyler Baronski joins us live in Shelburne with more details on their town meeting day ballot. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, hey, Liz. Well, Shelburne voters will have to make a decision on both their town and school district's budget. Both will significantly increase their taxes. And the question they'll have to decide is, do the benefits outweigh the extra costs? Across Chinning County, towns are putting major tax increases on their budgets. Shelburne is no exception. They're proposing a roughly $13 million budget, a more than 22% increase from the previous year. Shelburne's budget growth is driven um, not by real estate tax increases, but by a new local option sales tax. This is the first new year for that. Matthew Lawless, Shelburne's town manager, says while the budget is larger, he believes the tax increase is modest. Lawless says they want to make improvements to several of their public safety services, such as investing in their paramedic rescue team, which in part means they can collect more revenue from insurance companies. But we're now at the point where we need full-time paramedic staffing in order to provide the highest level of reliable care to the community. So this is the year where we'd like to take that on. Something else Shelburne voters will have to decide is if they want to take on the Champlain Valley School District's proposed budget that's more than $105 million. On paper, it's a roughly 10% increase, but because of changes at the state level, it's really double that. The elimination of federally fu federal funding um, at the end of the current school year, um, really skyrocketing home values that cause the common level of, of appraisal to, to really reduce and raise taxes um, from a big percentage. And then the new weighting system, Act 127 and concurrently H850, all contributed. Megan Meltzler, Champlain Valley School District's vice chair, says this will just maintain the current programs, staff and maintenance they need for all their schools. Meltzler says while she understands it's a big ask to voters, she believes it's a necessary one. There's nothing in this budget that we consider to be frivolous. Or, or unnecessary spending overall, and we think that it meets the needs of our students. John Clifford says he'll be voting no to the current proposed school budget. While he understands there is only so much control the school board has, Clifford thinks they should have rescheduled the vote for another time. It deserves taking a relook um, and to see, uh, you know, what the, what the spending adjustments uh, are possible. Now, every school district in Vermont has seen major tax increases, so it's important you read about the ballot items and then get to the polls tomorrow and vote. For a full list of polling sites in the Green Mountain State, we have that on our website, mynbc5.com. In Shelburne, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.